Hello, welcome back to another diecast video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 164 scale village reconstruction shop tour. This is a commercial utility company that mainly does uh, commercial highway work and commercial road work. They do paving, underground utilities, uh, water lines, kind of anything that uh, has to do with a, around a roadway or a highway. And they only do commercial paving, so they do have a couple pavers back there. Um, and yeah, so this is uh, the whole company. They also do commercial snow removal in the winter. And they are based in upstate New York. So I'm going to give you guys a tour. Let me know if there's anything I should add or anything I should detract. If you guys think it's you know not necessary to have. Anything I'm missing or, um, you know, if I have too much equipment here because the uh, space is too um, small to be realistic. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, we're going to start over here. This is the entrance. Small little entryway here. See, some made a mess, so they are cleaning it up with the uh, what call it? backpack lower. But yeah, this entrance could come in, go out this way. When you go out, there's a little fuel station to fuel up, so you don't got people sitting at the gas station. And then you have a little bit of an overflow area. This is where they kind of just put a bunch of their old equipment. You have an old sidewalk machine there, some tires, a bunch of old equipment. We have our old seal coating trailer in here as well then you have a little bit of employee parking and then more employee parking back there for people to drive small vehicles um and over here you have the foreman he drives this f-150 gray then you have the uh boss's wife's trucks right here then you have the boss's truck i haven't really shown you guys this but this is a custom made f-350 from um Big Boosted Trucks on Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description, but um, it has a uh, fuel tank in the back to fill up their equipment, light bar, you got the black wheels, black bumper to match everything out, um, definitely a very cool truck here, but this is the main boss's truck that he uses to get around and do his daily activities, so that's just park in the shop right there. In the shop you have this main office area, which is in this little box, it's a main office. Then you have a couple of the rollers. They have three rollers. Uh, two are at the shop right now. Two are just tucked back in there for the uh, winter time. I do want to mention this is also during the winter time, so that's why they have so much equipment at the shop. Normally, most of this equipment would be out at job sites, but since it's the winter time, they have a lot of equipment here, and all their winter equipment is, of course, um, out at their certain job sites. Well, most of them, most of it is. And then you have the boss's secondary vehicle, which is a personal summer truck, just keeping it here. The shop is very bland. Uh, we'll be adding, um, you know, desks and toolbox and everything around this area. This is going to be the main maintenance area and then just kind of storage area back here. But this will get decorated more and more. This is a newer uh, building for me. So we'll be decorating this a little bit more. Uh, inside, you just have a mower that they use to keep the small little bit of grass they have on the outside of the shop trimmed up during the summertime. They have their new Bobcat sit steer. I'm coming inside from the elements to keep it new. You have their secondary backup paver. They don't really use this anymore, but this is a classic 582. And again, they don't really use it that more, that much smaller paver, but they do have it as a backup. And just a small, one of their main trucks here with a ladder. And of course, the company um, forklift. Keep this in the shop sometimes. Then you have a few of their snow plows uh, sitting in the shop. They have this Chevy 6500, which you guys have seen before. This is the boss's main truck. He's the only one that drives it, kind of his own little uh, personal snowplow vehicle. Does use this in the bit in the summertime for just jobs around the home, but um, it kind of keeps it at the shop as well. But this is his main personal truck. Then he has two trucks that he gives to employees to do the snowplowing. This is the F250 with a boss feed plow and salt spreader. And the F350 back there with a western plow on it as well. And the other main paver, as you can see, they're doing some maintenance on a um, paver uh, during the winter time. Getting some new seats installed and all that. On the outside, you have one of their uh, mini excavators. This is a Bobcat E35. You have the mechanics truck there. And uh, right now, their main Low boy setup is actually broken, so they're 
having this company bring around, haul around all their equipment, but this is not theirs, but this is a Capello uh, Peterbilt. Not theirs, but again, this is using to transport their equipment. This is theirs, this is a CAT uh, 320F excavator. Big excavator they use in the summertime. They have their John Deere Bobcat. Put a lot of hours on this one, it's great for trench work. Um, they actually sold this and they're going to be getting a um, brand new 2022 cat bobcat uh, in the very near future. If you guys saw, Diecast Masters came out with a new um, cat bobcat, or sorry, cat backhoe. I may have been saying bobcat backhoe. Uh, and I'll be coming out later this summer, so definitely looking forward to that. Then you have one of their company drum tucks, it's international with a trailer and their second mini excavator. This is a Sani. Their second, they bought this used from another trucking company, but this is a Mack dump truck. Then you have their project trailer. This is a trailer that they bring to most of their big sites. It just has extra materials, uh, some of the mechanics materials. Um, yeah, this goes to all major job sites. Um, since this is a commercial company, most of their equipment will be on one job site. So they'll have, you know, a few bobcats, a few excavators, and then, and of course, all of their um, travel control machines as well there. So during the summertime, this is mainly all at one job site. So it's nice having a shop trailer or project trailer at these big projects with all the tools they might need. And they have one of the old salt spreaders that they don't use anymore. This used to go in this international, but they don't really have a need for it anymore because they're, they're only doing one very large commercial Stone Rebel contract this year. Then you have old backhoe back here. It's old international. They don't use it that much, but uh, uh, this is, they still do have it. Old pickup as well, and an old international that shut down. Um, but I might use it again or try to fix it. Then you have the salt shed. Salt shed. No salt in it now, but this is used to keep salt. Some extra plows for other Stone Rebel equipment. And you just have extra plows. Water tank. Uh, another place they keep dirt in the summertime. They have their only John Deere wheel litter that stays at the shop. This is used to push back salt. Um, they just use an old, older wheel loader for that to push up the salt and load trucks up with salt. All their other wheel loaders, which they have four of, are at the um, Stone Rebel site right now, as well as two bobcats or two cat skid steers. The only cat skid steers that's not at their site right now is. This one right here, which had some issues, so they brought it back at the shop, and they're going to send it back out there. I'll have to fix it pretty soon. More miscellaneous equipment. Then you have the poo trailer. Um, at these big job sites, you need to go to the bathroom somewhere, so they do uh, use this trailer to bring their porta potty to the job sites. Very essential. Then you have their dumpster. They do use Casella. Extra snowblower they're not using extra equipment, some um, buckets and all that. Then going to the main parking area, we have their water truck. This is on the International L9000. Very cool truck here. And this is their water truck that they use for, so they're helping out with milling. I know that I said they don't do milling, but they do, you know, sometimes help out people with milling. They have their traffic control area. They have barriers, cones, their first attenuator. This is a ram attenuator. Uh, this sets out the cones and does some traffic control. It's a double cab, so it is nice. It can bring some crew to job sites as well. Speaking of bringing crew to job sites, they do have this Prius with a light bar, of course. This is used to bring to their big commercial sites as well. Bring workers in so they don't have to drive their own personal vehicles on the highway. Another attenuator here. They, this is, they have two of these, but it's all decaled up. One of their uh, gooseneck trailers, one of their box trucks, also used for traffic control, one of their trailer with a skid steer, and then two of their um, Isuzu and Hino uh, box trucks that they use for other utility work and transporting stuff around. And lastly, we just have some more employee parking, and of course, the company dog mascot. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and this is Village of Construction. Let me know if I should anything in the description. And you can always follow me on Instagram to see more. Thank you for watching.